Well, Hunter's headaches continue. The president's son in Arkansas for a battle over child support, where he was forced to answer questions on his shady finances. Shady indeed. And the Daily Mail capturing this photo of the mother of his child, London Roberts, showing up on the scene. But the trouble doesn't end there for Hunter. We now learn one of his ex-business partners could soon sit down with House Republicans over the Biden's role in the Ukrainian energy company, Burisma. Hmm. New York Post columnist and Fox News contributor Miranda Devine joins us now. Miranda, good to see you this morning. Let's start, I guess, at the top. Let's start with what's happening in Arkansas. Do you expect this court proceeding to reveal any truth? I do actually because there's a judge there in Arkansas who really means business and is being uh, fair to London Roberts who is the mother of Hunter Biden's unacknowledged child who's now four years old and London Roberts is uh, querying the reason that Hunter has given for why he has to slash the child support payments that he promised to make to her and in fact was making to her at, for the $20,000 a month. He's now crying poor, even while he's flying into Arkansas in a private jet, uh, living in a $25,000 a month Malibu apartment, and having his bills paid for him, including a $1.8 million uh, overdue tax bill by friends. So um, I think that the judge is well within her rights to say to Hunter Biden, well, do what London Roberts is asking, open your kimono and show us all your financials because how can we trust what you what you put down when you haven't been forthcoming with your discovery? And she's actually threatened to throw him in jail and hold him in contempt. Yeah, I mean, he's so brazen. He actually flew to one of these hearings in a private jet to say, I don't have any money. Um, I don't want to give money to my kids. I mean, it's just unbelievable. You say, you know, he needs, you know, he, she may be able to force him to open the kimono, what, what apparently the FBI doesn't want to do for Hunter Biden. Are you shocked? I mean, first of all, I'm proud of the Republicans. I think they've done a fantastic job of, you know, every week we're getting more and more, you know, proof that what we all think happened happened. But are you surprised that there's been so little media interest besides you and a few others? I mean, why wouldn't they want to know this? They want to know more about a president who's not in office than one who is potentially compromised. Not really, because the media disgraced itself so much during the Russia collusion years and, in fact, from the moment that Donald Trump uh, came down the escalators, um, that this is just the flip side of that. You know, every single uh, negative story that they can run about Donald Trump, they will do breathlessly and 24-7. Uh, but um, anything, you know, when there's actual evidence of corruption um, and malfeasance with Joe Biden and his family, they will run cover for him and ignore it. Yeah, absolutely. Devin Archer, how significant is that name if he's cooperating with congressional Republicans? It's a name that's come up a lot when it comes uh, in reports about Biden family business dealings. If he's talking, what does it mean? Look, it's very significant. Uh, Devin Archer was Hunter Biden's best friend in business. That's what Devin Archer called him. Uh, Devin Archer also took uh, the fall for uh, Hunter Biden over this um, this company that went bust that uh, Devin Archer is about to go to jail for. Um, he was convicted uh, on, of a fraud for this. And uh, Hunter Biden, although he was also involved in that com company and was vice chairman, actually made a couple of hundred thousand while Devin Archer lost, uh, well, he says $10 million. You know, he put in $1 million. Um, but the prosecutors deemed that Hunter Biden was not involved and should not be prosecuted. Uh, so lucky him and unlucky Devin Archer. And I think Devin Archer, you know, has been holding out for a pardon because Hunter Biden said that he was part of the Biden family, um, you know, an important person who would never be betrayed, never be abandoned. And uh, I, I gather from uh, people around Devon Archer that he does feel abandoned mm. and betrayed exactly that as he heads in the next couple of weeks to jail. And uh, so I think he's been ruined and he has nothing to lose by mm. um, saying That's what he knows. Mm -hmm. if you're holding out for a pardon and that pardon doesn't come, then maybe your allegiance shifts quickly, especially yes. sitting with House Republicans. Can, really quick, Miranda, do you think that he's that the Biden family is nervous at this point? Um, 
I'm sure they are, but they have a team of very expensive lawyers surrounding them who um, have done a good job for them in protecting them and attacking uh, their opponents. And on top of that, there is all this dark money uh, groups uh, that the Democrats have to attack uh, the Republicans and anybody else who's uh, trying to uncover this mess. Um, and on top of